Hi there everybody, so on today's video I have this uh, Mercedes uh, C180 This is a 2004 And um, I'm gonna be replacing the uh, vacuum hoses um, Which sit below the air box um, The air filter box And the reason for that is because the The engine light has come on And we have um, a fault code um, stating the uh, the vehicle is on a on a lean lean con condition. Um, now this is a very uh, common fault code, which relates to these hoses normally. Um, uh, so that's the first part uh, that we're going to be tackling to hopefully sort the um, the fault codes. Um, so um, we need to remove the airbox housing and as well as the air filter and all that. Um, and we're gonna start by um, taking all these uh, screws out. These are torques, and then we can take this cover out. I have this tool here which is um, I'm going to use for removing the the intake hose from the throttle body uh, you will definitely need one of these because um, without it you're going to struggle a lot to put it back in so it's easier to come off but you'll struggle to get it off and this tool is um, is very good um, and it's, it's very cheap from Amazon or eBay now I use a T25 for these uh, Torx bits um, and I used a T20 for a little screw that's here holding these uh, cables here I'm going to remove this uh, the ECU connection there but for that I've also disconnected battery negative terminal so I've disconnected it from here just undone this and disconnected that that's an 11 mil um, so once that is disconnected I can go ahead and pull this off Pulling that, lifting this up. gonna disconnect um, the airflow meter as well and there's another uh, connection here now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect as well So that's the airflow meter, and there's the other connection, it's just here. Okay, so that's the one I'm uh, disconnecting. Uh, if we press the little clip, 
here. Press the clip there. And then uh, this connection will slide out. Okay, so we need to unplug the vacuum pipe. And we need to press on the sides of this here. Okay, I'm also going to disconnect this uh, move the air filter as well. And um, I also need to remove the connector itself from I need to remove this basically from here. Okay, if we can uh, slide, if we can slide this bit to one side, this will come off. Now there's a a bolt we need to remove. From that hole in there. basically from in there there's one on that side and one on the other side the two bolts that I'm removing the one on, on that end and this one um, are of um, that type and um, the hole is too small to to put one of um, a star socket in there unless you have the small ones but you can use an 8 mil um, you can use a normal 8 mil and it fits perfectly Okay, so that's been loosened, and the one I was undoing was um, sitting just in there. So 
or the one that I was undoing is sitting there. That's the one there. And now we need to take out. We basically need to tackle the clamp that holds the um, intake. And as you can see, there's two clamps. There's one there, and there's another one just there. It's a little bit dirty. but can just about be seen and for that we're going to use that tool okay so that's the tool that I'm going to be using for that and uh, basically what it does it, it's like a clamp it's just going to uh, close the and it's, it's going to close open the clamp for me by closing the uh, the tool and then it's going to hold it like that Okay, so um, I hope that's uh, fairly uh, visible there. It's a bit difficult to um, focus on it. That's where the clamp is holding the um, the clip, basically. just about see it that's the clamp, that's the clip is loose what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the, uh, the side of the throttle body and we're gonna slide the box towards the, uh, the bulkhead of the car so towards the back Okay, the box is loose and ready to come out. Um, I just forgot to remove um, that pipe, uh, the silver pipe there, be um, which um, we need to move it aside a little bit so it gives us uh, access. So to get that out, we just need a, a 10 mil.
Okay, um, there's a small sensor there, uh, cable that we need to remove as well. Have a, we have a, a hose connected to the we have a house connected here this house and um, we can just uh, unplug it as well And we can um, remove the uh, the box. Now, with that out of the way, um, the hose that I'm looking to replace is this one here. So what normally happens with that hose is that it cracks and um, it causes all these problems. And I have a replacement hose here. Now, um, removing the hose from uh, the bottom connector is a bit more tricky than the one I just removed up here. Um, it's just a little awkward because of where it is. And also, it's a little bit dirty, so it's difficult to see. I will give it a clean then. Okay, so I've cleaned the clip a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. Um, that's the uh, clip that we need to remove there. that one there and um, I normally push it push push it down um, so it un it unclips from its uh, Okay, so I've managed to uh, get the clip unclipped, basically, and uh, we can now um, remove that pipe. Okay, um, the pipe has been removed and uh, 
I don't know if we can see here, but uh, there's a little bit of a crack there. And this pipe is uh, gone very sticky. The clip um, still in there. And I'm going to just pull it out. Trying not to drop it. But um, this clip is the type that. Um, it's clipped on that bit hooks onto that bit so I had to uh, basically what I did is I pushed it I pushed it down and it it got released I moved it to one side basically to release it with the with the help of the screwdriver I pushed it down like that and then it opened Okay, now we need to refit this hose and um, this clip. <coughs> this clip is going to be uh, a bit of a pain to uh, close, so I'm going to give it a, a go. Otherwise, I may try to use a, a different type of clip. Um, it's just due to the axis that we haven't got in there. This clip is a bit small because that hose, um, that hose has been modified and is a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna um, find another type of clip that I can put in there. Right. So the type of clip that I've decided to use, it's one that has got a, it's a Ghibli clip with a seven uh, mil, a seven mil. Um, size head on it so I can just about get the um, the wrench in through there and um, tighten that Okay, uh, it's easy to over tighten this kind of clip, so I just have to be careful and keep an eye on the, how tight it's getting on. But um, in this case, it's fairly tight now, so um, I can now connect the other end. So that's what I used that's a 7mm and that's a universal joint there. Now we can fit the other side of the pipe. Now we can start the process of uh, refitting everything back so I'm gonna get the uh, airbox back in there and uh, there are some uh, 
this here and uh, this here are two little rubbers or two little mounts where the uh, the box sits in so I'm just putting some WD-40 on that The WD-40 will help um, will help these bits slide in there's one on that side and there's another one on this side and um, just to make life a little bit easier for ourselves <coughs> we can uh, clean this a little bit here and of course be careful how you handle this box because it's got the uh, ECU on it so you don't want to damage that So once we got the box down, we need to make sure the, uh, the mounts go in place here. Now they're uh, lined up, I can just uh, go ahead and get in the mounts. And now I can, uh, I can push this hose into the, um, into the bottom hose down there, which goes into the intake. Go ahead and push this hose in here. Okay, so all that is in now, and now we can. Uh, now I'm gonna release the clamp that's holding. That's holding the clip which holds the intake. Uh, the intake hose that comes from the um, airflow meter. Okay, the clamp is nicely in place. 
and uh, we can go ahead and start refitting all the, everything we disconnected. Okay, so um, the car is running all right now. Um, I'm just gonna check for uh, fault codes. Um, so the fault codes that I had before um, were related to the mixture, mixture being too lean. And um, I haven't got the printout for some reason. I don't know where I placed it. The uh, full code may still be on the on the memory. Um, But uh, I did clear it out yesterday, um, so I'm not sure if it will be there or not. <clears throat> In any case, it shouldn't it shouldn't come back now that we change the pipe. Now this is a C180 compressor control units and engine we'll uh, have a look at that first right there's no fault codes there And uh, no focus have come back. Okay, so um, uh, that's uh, that's a shame. It's a shame I haven't got the um, the fault codes um, to show you, but uh, it it basically said that uh, there's a lean a lean mixture um, which was probably related to that crack on that pipe because that pipe has um, uh, it was allowing more air to go in and, and, and so on um, so uh, but anyway that's how you would go ahead and replace it um, and I just I hope this video helps some people do that that job
and thanks for watching.